She had a baby shower for a baby boy. She told her friends that she had a baby boy. She was going to have a baby boy. All of that shows you that she was portraying having a baby boy. If you're going through all that trouble, don't you think if it's your intent to cut someone's baby out, that you're going to take some time to find a woman pregnant with a baby boy? Logic tells you at least you do that. The prosecution wants to use this ultimatum that Mr. Ridley gave Miss Lane. This ultimatum in the middle of February, month before any of this happened. But remember what Mr. Ridley told you what this ultimatum was. This ultimatum never was, you better show me a baby, I better get a baby out of this. He told you he didn't want kids. No. Mr. Ridley just wanted to know what was going on. Just tell me. Those texts to his friends, I just want to know what's going on. That's what the ultimatum was. And you know what? The ultimatum came and went, and nothing happened. Mr. Ridley still stayed with her. That doesn't prove anything. The prosecution's whole theory has been that Miss Lane put this ad on Craigslist for the sole purpose to lure some woman to her house to cut her baby out. Why would you put something on Craigslist, put your own phone number that's attached to you if your whole intent is to kill someone to cut their baby out? Why would you put an ad on Craigslist and then not respond to people if your intent was to cut their baby out? Why would you have a whole day go by where you have the whole entire day Miss Lane had all of March 17th from 8 to 5 p.m. If that was her intent, why didn't she do it then? Why didn't she respond immediately to Miss Wilkins on March 17th? Please come over at 8 a.m. Because she knows every single day her husband leaves at 8 a.m. Why wouldn't she give herself as much time as possible? She's cutting someone's baby out. That's what they're alleging. The whole purpose of this is to cut someone's baby out. If that is what her intent was, why wouldn't she do that way earlier? She didn't do that because she never planned, prepared, or processed any of this. March 18th, is the best evidence of that. If we look at March 18th, excuse me, March 18th, Miss Lane has six and a half hours. If you believe the prosecution's theory that the sole purpose was to lure Miss Wilkins over to cut her baby out, six and a half hours from 8 a.m. to 2.30, her husband's coming home early that day. Does she get up as soon as Mr. Ridley walks out of the house and texts Miss Wilkins? No. She waits until 921 to text Miss Wilkins. 921, so we already lost an hour and a half of the day. Does she then do anything in order to get ready for this day, the day she's cutting someone's baby out? No. She starts texting her good friend Sabrina Miller. And she has a conversation with Miss Miller on Facebook about Miss Miller's problems, what's going on with her, all while also talking to Mr. Ridley. And Mr. Ridley tells you there was nothing out of the ordinary that morning. He noticed nothing. Wouldn't you think if someone was planning to cut someone's baby out, the last thing they're going to care about is the mechanic or whether or not he gets paid or what happens to the truck? <laughs> 